Engineering Eng. PDF document of this video is on engineering.com. Friends, hello. What we learned in previous videos, in this video, we will try to solve an example by using while and if loops together this time. We will try to write our code. Again, as always, I say new script. I will write an example shortly. Let's write our classic commands as always. In this example, we will use if and while together. Now, our goal will be this. First, I define an X array. I say get an X array. 3, 4. Now I'm beating all the numbers. 9, 11, 12, 14, 15. That's enough. Check it out now. I'm writing our purpose. Our goal is this. My goal is these guys. Find me an array here. This is in Y array. My goal, this is in X, can be divided into three. Their number is in Y, gather. So what happens at the end, friends? So what do I want Y to be? This is the third, sixth, eleventh, and fifteenth in X array. Three, six, nine, eleven, and fifty make me from Y from X. Here it could be asked in different ways, but I choose 3. It does not matter how many devices it is divided into here is not a problem. I choose 3 here. Now, here is how to use while and if. Let's think about it. My goal here is in the x's. I need to be able to express numbers that can be divided into 3 before I define i equals to 1 except for while again then i answer while when i equals to 1 i entered while guys we have a command as follows if you want me to write here we have a command like this rem it comes from remain a b equals it comes from remain in the sense of the remainder. Stay here from division of A to B of A. Reminder from section with B. So if I throw it like the remain, if I say 4 comma 3 friends, the remainder of 4 divided by 3 is 1. Here is a number that gives us this result. So what does this do for me now? This will be very useful because remain, what is the remainder of 2 by 3? And let it be small. It doesn't matter if you have a, such a question mark in your mind. It is not divided into 2 or 3. Uh, the must remains 2. So the remainder of 2 by 3 and 5 by 3 are the same thing. So when you add uh, 3 to 2, same thing here too, don't get any question marks in your mind. Now after seeing this place more or less, I will try to do this, because here ultimately I'm asked for a number that can be divided by 3. Here I have to question the number that can be divided by 3. I will question him as follows. I will say, remain remaining. I will say who is from whose department. I will get the elements of the array is x one by one over there, of course, before... Of course, we will not give the command here. Uh, I lower. Let's count here how many elements x. If you remember that we are we were throwing the i according one two three four five six seven eight nine, I say i lower equals nine to get around all x. So here x have nine skins. Cycle I throw nine each time I increase. I, it will take. Uh, three first and then when I becomes two it will take four when I get three it will be six such 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 When I uh, lower and equals nine I equals nine I have to take the 15 and make operation with these numbers one by one and these two I Have to choose the X's that are uh, divisible by three now the logic of the event is based on this now that we bought an I, one I I see you will get the first element three I see you will take it I have to ask a command like this I'm using the if command here now. Look, I see this. After entering the while loop, this is number i. I have to question this. If you remember, we could write like this. What does x i mean? If 
term of x. So how many I entered he? He entered as a. I took three of the first term of x. And this one actually has three inside the remaining command. So there is no difference between this and that. I bought three of them because I know that the first element of x. So while I is one, what does this give me? Guess he will give three. So I have to check who part of the three. The numbers here are divisible. The uh, numbers, guys. When I divide it by three, because it's say uh, divisible by three, how do I perceive whether a number is divided into three or not? Of course, the rest here is the result from remain. The result is remain comma as you can see here. A B a single number value result. If only one number gives the result here, if it is zero. Equal, it's is it equal? You know, check parity in F. Equality is not one, it is controlled by putting two in this way. I explained this in previous if comment. My reminder if it's zero, if the reminder is zero, that means here xi is a number that is divisible by three. If this is a number that can be divided by three, then I can add this to y. But be careful where y has five elements here. Here x has nine elements because I'm doing these nine elements with i. I will de define another variable by saying a, a, a j equals to one here. Whenever this if command is provided, it goes under the command. If if y a b can be divided into three, then the j element of a y. So j will start with one. It means you can directly assign the first element here x i here. So what did I say here? Let's think again. I entered 1. After I entered 1, he took the first element of x3. I checked part 3 of 3. Is the reminder of 3 divided by 3 equal to 0? For example, it's equal to 3 here. Yeah, reminder by 3 of 3. Because the first element of x is 3. Since the reminder of 3 divided by 3 is 0, what did I say here? The first element of y, y, because j is now, j is 1, y, 1, so the first element to x, y, who was x, y, the first element, whose equal to x to 3. Look, and then if this if command is provided, and if the, the code goes in here, if the code enters here, let's increment j before exiting this if command so that j doesn't remain 1. This time the second j is 2, put it in the second row. Otherwise, if I don't include j here, if I keep 1, uh, whoever can be divided by 3 gets the last one. And so only that remains for me here. So I see y as a single element, but what I, what do I want? To make a new place for each new y element. Here I type j equals to j plus 1 and complete the if with the end comment. Now could I write else here? Yeah, you can say it is not divided. The only thing that matters to me here is the take it divided by 3. If not otherwise, a non-zero result may come. What comes? 1 and uh, 2 may come another. So I don't want to make an action for 1 and 2 anyway. I'll just take the j values of y and show them in y less. My goal is to show y like this. Now then, of course, before exiting this comment, let's increase the classically y, i. Now get 2 here while i was 1 next. And in case uh, i is the second, let remain x take 2. x is 4 of us, let's 4 of them, check it out. It's 4 over there. He checks to see if there is 0 remaining from division of 4 by 3. No, it skips if directly since it cannot be 0. Of course, where does it come? Increments i again. Of course, this is while and let's not forget friends. I hope you understand what I mean. Now my goal here is to finally see this on y. Let's see now when I wrote y this way, we could see it by typing it here alone. I will, if you will, remember. Now I'm going to run this and I will save it here, lesson 10. After that, let's do this to solve one more example. Let it, let it mean lesson 10.1 point. Let's check it out now. Did we do it right? For the 3, 4, 6, 7, 9, 11, 12, 14, 15 values of x. This is how we sum this number divided by 3 as 3, 6, 9, 11, 15 as y. I think it was a good example, as you can see. We also learned a new command. 
It might work for us, you may want to benefit from other work you do. I remember Java and C, this type of needs, particularly is need of division. I remember it was a needed command. Of course, this Java was indicated with that day percentage. But here we have done this with the remain command, IA with the comment ram. Now I want to make another example if you wish. So new, I say, new script, I choose. Our current example, let's see what an example it will be. Look, I thought of an example like this, guys, again. Let x be numbers from 1 to 10. We have a x like this. I thought something like that, I say. My goal, my goal, odd numbers. Adding the odd numbers on y as follows, y equals to 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, even numbers z array, collect, z equals as follows, let the second, fourth, sixth, eighth, tenth, of course we will say x equals here. Now this is the cause, so I have to write it right. Write whatever you write as this is a comment after the percentage. I just wrote it this way to keep our purpose in now, friends. So how do we do such a question? I think like this. I'm saying now, guys. I will find the last two results. One is Y array, it will be on numbers. The other one will be Z array, and it will contain even numbers. Now then. Here, what can I distinguish between single and double? I'm thinking about her. Now, here is the way to distinguish between odd and pair. Of course, in the division operation, if I divide a number by two, there are two different cases in the remaining case. Either give a reminder or get, it gives a zero reminder. If a division divided by two gives a reminder, all numbers. If it gives a reminder of zero, it represents even numbers. Is not it? So, what should I do then? I have to apply the division divisibility rule. Let's start with i equals to 1 first. A while let's get into the cycle and i lower equals, here x is array, fill up the size. We will wrap all x, I will draw the old x's to y, I will draw the double ones to z. So how many elements does x have here? Because it has 10 elements, I write 10 like this, then enter, I press. Now, guys, there's a check I have to do here again, is not it? What control? If, I will say. I will use the reminder command and I will take the first element of x. I have to check it with whom? You know that the way to distinguish odd and pair is division by 2. I will write the reminder of, two, of the two parts. The reminder of the section with these two, if, equals to, let's say if it's a 1 of 0, let's say it's 0, friends. Look who will collect this friends, Z. We will collect. So what should I do here? If the remainder of this if command is zero, I have to say here. I have to say here. Z array I'm starting to build here, but I say J. Again, just like I did in the previous example, right over here. See what it represents here, 10 up to 10, but here I see 5 of these. Since there will be 5 of these, I have to use a new counter. So I start my j, j equals to 1. And the first elements of z, so z is 1. I automatically say that is equal to i this way. Then uh, to this point, I am an else if, or if I write uh, directly in else, let's say else if remain x i if there's no reminder from the section with 2 is it equal to 1 equals 1 if this time to add y's this time again j's I assigned it for z let's write it here z array for, for counter so it's counting so it's counting the inside of z and I have to do it uh, for y I'm starting that too Percentage y counter for array. So how many values of y have here? How many number does it consist of? I keep it here at k. Now then if he gets out of here again, 
It gets rid of the division with 0 if there is a remainder from the division by 2 it automatically adds up to y. Because I know that this is the odd number, anyway my goal was to add the odd numbers to y. Then what would yk be equal to guys? Again what, whatever, xa, xi is xi. Oh. Well this is that enough guys, of course, you know the loop is the if command here is provided. We have the function just below it. If he is doing this, so this command is provided here and if it goes down here, if it's coming down here, next time he comes j. Let's change it, increase it by 1 here. Let it go the second and it should not cause any trouble, so let him write the second number, then if it comes in again, this line is provided if it enters here. Let's just place the increase again so that this time we will prepare the ground for the third, the uh, fourth or the fifth. So whenever this command is provided, it goes down this lower line. I have to increase it every time it goes down so that a place is made for a new one, for instance. Like if those command is not provided, if it gets in here and this uh, achieved by going down, there is no other way. Either it's divided by zero, more precious it's divided into two, or not completely split. It gives a rest. Of course, we will increase the cases here. I hope you understand what I mean. Let's make room here again. Case is y for array. You you assign someone for the first, let the second one so that you can cast a tree in this way. Then let's write the end of this if first. We don't need to write the end of as if of course while uh, has an end. Well, we will not uh, forget what in while, we will not forget what in while, guys. This i should increase, so after you get out of all these loops, we increment i by 1 to get the new y, and he can move on the next x, uh, 1 to 2, this way, to 3, like the 3, 4. Now I think the code is correct, let's see if I think it is right, finally. This x is already open here, I don't uh, put a semicolon, let's see both of it, let's see both y, let's see z, friends. Let's see both are numbers and even numbers, this is how I run it. Let's say lesson 10.2, of course you cannot put a point in MATLAB, let's remind him again, you must underscore. You must start with a letter, so if I write 10.2 like this, it would be wrong, if I delete that, that's why you write this way. I saved it. Let's see. I did not give any errors. Let's have a look, guys. You see these x values, 1 to 10. Our y values are odd numbers. And our z values have gotten even numbers in this way, guys. Different variations can be made this way. These. While and if can be used together for different questions, of course I plan to use a for and if together from now on. These examples are little more for us. I think it's enough to understand the logic of the event. Hope to meet you in another video. I say goodbye to you all.